8.38 and we are on our way to get Serafina. We gotta get Serafina. Oh, Ciara, we gotta get Ciara today too. Yay, Ciara's coming, yay. <laughs> I think I drive better when I'm on my phone because there was a red light and I almost didn't stop. <laughs> and I pay more attention like when I'm on my phone because I'm paying more attention, I'm being more careful. I almost ran right through this red, red light right here. Right here. This one. Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, it's green. Green means go, okay? All right, y'all. It's a beautiful day. Another beautiful sunny day. This is why I love living here because every day is sunny and beautiful in the weather. If you're having a shitty day, just go outside. And the weather's amazing. You know, me, I, I just appreciate it because I'm from New York. And I grew up in, like, rainy weather. Anyway, now. I also have to send in my paperwork for my new talent agency and I have to pay those New York City tickets and I have to get an oil change in my car. Those are things I need to do. Okay? So they're on the top of my to-do list. So when is cleaning gonna happen and you know, using the pool and all that stuff? I don't have time for anything. Look at all this road work and somebody's got a stinky butt, they farted and I can't roll down the window because this one has its head on it. So I can't get to the button. Can I go? Okay, I got I got all these dogs. Serafina, Ciara, Monty, Ciara's back there, Lola, and Chewbacca. Chewbacca. And I'm not gonna lose Chewbacca today. And they all gotta go potty. So we're gonna go to um, Poinsettia because they can run around like maniacs and go potty there. And then we gotta get Felman around like 11 o'clock. So I don't really have any, it's already 9-11. So there's no point in going back home, you know, before I go do film. Looks like a kangaroo court. I mean, I you just know, said this is third I, world I, I country like kangaroo in the court. <laughs> judicial system. This is that's the system that is supposed to protect us from the government. Most of all, the cleanliness, the purity of the federal judiciary has been bespotted by this action. And Jay, something that I think is very important that you pointed out. I wonder now. How good that evidence that was taken from Mar-a-Lago is. Anyone in there? It's so ridiculous and it's so obvious. When you board up windows in a voting site, oh yeah, you're not doing anything wrong. You can't let people watch what you're doing when you when you're you're rigging vo voting freaking papers. Give me an effing break. When you're rigging voting ballots, oh, give me a break. This world, they're so stupid and it's so obvious. I mean, yeah, I know what I wanted to say. I wanted to say there's a lot of people who believe in Jesus and who are saved, but they don't want to like talk about politics and stuff. They don't want to worry about politics and I get it because we're not supposed to worry about things in this world. We're supposed to respect God first and you're supposed to respect your leaders unless it becomes ungodly. And our leaders are corrupt and it's so evil and it's so one-sided and uh, we should be talking about politics because it's just, it's evil. It's straight up evil. So, you know, all you Christians should be talking about politics. <laughs> democracy. What's that? There ain't none. There ain't no democracy anymore. Maybe I'll have time to edit, finish editing my day one vlogging from Monday. Poinsettia, what do you think, Monty? What do you think? But Hillary Clinton's excuse is that she didn't really know that she had classified information and she blamed Jake Sullivan for sending it to her. And Jake Sullivan didn't get raided. Hillary Clinton didn't get raided. Jake Sullivan actually got not. a promotion to be national security advisor. This thing stinks. And it's outrageous that what they're doing to Donald Trump. Yes. I just heard some dogs, some cute little pugs, a black uh, a black pug and a tan pug, who have medical conditions, were stolen from a car. These are the two little pugs that were stolen out of the 99 cent store. There's a reward. Oh, I pray to God that um, she gets them back. If anybody has any information. You can't even leave your dogs in them. You can't leave your dogs anywhere. They just steal them. Yep. Oh, Sixth and Fairfax. Someone stole them. Assholes. Someone needs medical attention. Look how cute they are. 
Oh, I pray they get to go back to their moms. You stole the dogs. The dogs have medical conditions and need like medical attention. Like it's so, f I would lose my mind. I would not be able to get any sleep until my dog was found. I would be puking. I'd have anxiety. I would like strangle somebody's neck if they stole my dog. Why are you freaking out? Oh, why are you freaking out? Success. Pan Pacific. It is a hot one. Good thing I got this ice water. Ice water. You put the water in the freezer and it makes an ice cube and just keep filling it up all day. Yes, good. She waits. Waits. And then she'll pounce. She's gonna pounce. The other dog's like, what is she doing? <laughs> I used to bring a blanket, but then the dogs just all go on it and get it all dirty, so screw it. Sit on the ground, put my Levi's butt on the ground. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Serafina loves to torment little dogs. Look at her. She is so funny. Even though they weren't together, they were best friends. Look at Ciara. Go, you guys, go. Uh, they're so cute. <laughs> really cute. All the gang is here. This is so cute. Whoa, it's drooling. Whoa, looks so tired. <laughs> you need a washy face. A facey washy, okay? Who's your good girl? Monty, you okay? Guys, good Chewbacca. Can I have the ball? Can I have the ball? Oh, Ciara <laughs> wants the ball, Chewbacca. How can you see? Oh. Okay, fine. You love tidbit. You love it. Farley's here. That is Ciara. She's so sweet. Oh, is she growling? <laughs> oh my. Someone's boyfriend. It's fine. It's Someone fine. really likes tidbit. Dude. <laughs> You come and you're t you're 14. You still got a libido? Yeah. Come yeah. on, Felman. Oh, you still got some testosterone in you? That's cute. Yummy, yummy. All right, let's take Felman home. Then we'll go get Max. Oh, this is the best part of my day, you guys, because it's like ice cream, but it's acai and it's healthy. And there's honey and coconut and strawberries and blueberries and hemp granola. Oh, for me, not for you. Although Chewbacca likes it, I give him a little spoonful at the end. Yeah, yeah. Word of God. In other words, the best way to pray is when you throw God's word back at it. Praying in light of what he says gives you authority in the spiritual realm. Let me put it another way. If you don't know what God is saying, or you don't know what to expect from God, then you will pray vain prayers, you will pray empty prayers, and the only you're not connecting it with the spiritual realm in which it operates. He says, I want you to make contact with God. I'm exhausted, y'all. Wiped the F out. Hot tub time, y'all. I don't care. I'm not doing anything but sit my ass in the hot tub and maybe I'll swim some laps, get some exercise. That's right. You got to get cooked in the hot tub and then go swimming. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Ooh, it's so hot. It's boiling. I feel like a lobster. I feel like a lobster. I feel like a lobster. Well, I'm almost done. I am almost. Oh, these these things right here. These pumps. Oh, yeah, are so good. Oh, so nice. Feels so good. I'm almost done with my first blogging episode, which I shot on Monday the 8th I think the 8th or the 9th can't remember and um, it's now Thursday so I gotta finish editing that and put it up alright I'm gonna chillax you guys Peace. you guys this hot tub is hot it is super hot oh my lanta
I gotta go charge my phone and swim some laps. Yes. Okay, y'all, I swim a few laps, but I don't really feel like exercising. So, um, <laughs> this feels really good. This hot tub is so awesome. I love it. So we need to talk about priorities. What are our priorities in life? Seek first the kingdom always. Respect God and pray about everything. And I just learned on um, religious radio talk today that um, when you pray, use God's word to pray with because that gives you authority in the spirit when speaking to God. It's like, hey, remember you said this. Hey, remember you said that when we pray for something, ask it, it is given. And it also says, believe and you shall receive. When we pray, we're supposed to give thanks to God and believe that it already happened. So that's what we're supposed to do. I don't know what scripture that is, but I just looked it up on my phone. So we need to recite God's word when we pray. Say, hey God, remember, emergency, democracy. There's no democracy anymore. It's an emergency 911. Decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, you bring back democracy and fair elections get Trump back in the White House. You said, ask me who's given and believe. I believe. I believe. Although it's hard to believe because we know what happens in the Bible. I have to send in paperwork to my agency. My kitchen's a mess. I still have to pay the $200, $241 ticket to New York City. Um, what's most important? The kingdom, obviously. Uh, sending my agent's paperwork is important. Paying those tickets is important. Getting my oil, oil change is important. But I want to finish editing my first vlog from Monday. I just feel so good. So yeah, priorities, y'all. Priorities. My priorities lie in the hot tub. <laughs> Guys, I did it. I finished editing my very first vlog episode of the 30 Day Challenge. I started late because I didn't know it was actually happening so i started late okay so i'm gonna go from august 8th to september 8th that's like 30 days right or something like that so i'm gonna try to upload a video every day no matter how good or bad it is okay that's what you're supposed to do and then after that i should do at least one a week and they should be better quality okay right now it's just about uploading one every day but then after it should go back to being good quality once a week that's what most youtubers do like finally it's not that great, y'all. It's just a matter of doing it and getting it done. I have letters to do for my agency. I have to do a resume. I do a lot of shit. My kitchen's a freaking disaster again. And I gotta go back to the dog park right now. Like when you upload from your phone, you have to go to it and click on monetizing. And I did that for my videos and some of my videos aren't monetizing. Sometimes I feel like the new world order is in my fucking computer fucking with me all the time because all my shit is fucked up. Like Safari, every time I go on Safari, a security screen comes up. Why do I need security on my fucking phone? Like, and my trading stuff is always fucked up. Everything's always fucked up. Every video that's uploaded should automatically be monetized. You have to go in and click it on your fucking phone. Velma, when he does his leg, he's like, give me a treat. Velma. Oh, pepperonis. Those are the best. Oh, she brings pepperonis. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful because they will bite. Oh, Vader. No. Don't be afraid to push him down. No. <laughs> Serafina's trying to lighten up the situation because Chewbacca's barking. Seraphine is giving Chewbacca kisses. What are you doing, Chewbacca? Trying to hump Monty? What is going on? Kisses, kisses. Oh, it's so cute. Monty's just looking at you like, what are you doing? Chewbacca. What are you digging in the dirt like that for? I have a friend that watches them all the time. 
You guys, I'm so tired that I dropped off Ciara. Uh, came home, got out of the car, was gonna get Monty and Max out of the car, and I looked in the back seat and I saw that one. I was like, Asia's still in the car. <laughs> I need to go bring her home. Wow. I had no idea she was still in the car. Good thing she's in the car, actually. <laughs> but I just drove all the way home and I gotta go bring her home. And I'm tired and there's no parking by Max's house. So I have to walk him over. So my night just got later. It's life, kids. All right, Ethan. Uh, the homeless people setting fires. That's what they do. The homeless people set fires. Look at that. The fucking homeless people. Let Yeah, let them live on the fucking streets. Let them live on the fucking streets so they burn shit down. Smooth move. You guys, I'm so sick of these fucking homeless people. They're just burning shit down because they have this thing called homeless tax. If you don't pay your homeless tax, they come and burn your shit. It's like so fucked up. Like there was a girl there. There was a really pretty girl there. Probably some pimp or something pimping her out. But yeah, keep letting the homeless people live on the streets. Good job. Good job. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. This world is so screwed. We're all screwed. Right, Max? We are all screwed. And then it's really busy over here when there's like shows. It's really busy over here when there's shows. It's kind of like New York City for a hot second, like a smidgen. Like a point zero 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 negative zero 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 point percent feels like New York City with my right here. Fantageous. Forgot to bring Asia home. Oh, we got the fire. You know, if it bleeds, it leads. That's what they say. If it bleeds, it leads. If it burns, it goes second. Okay. like eight o'clock or later. I'm exhausted, taking Max home. I'm so tempted to go get a beer. I want a beer, I want a drink, but it's bad for your brains. And I don't want to be like Joe Biden. I want my brain cells. I'd like to keep my brain cells with slept to them if there is any left. So I don't know about this whole drinking thing, but I'm freaking exhausted. And I gotta go home, do some paperwork for my agency, my kitchen's an effing disaster, so if I even want to eat something, it's going to be like... I have some shrimps to put on the grill. That's about it. So, I don't know. I'm just effing tired, y'all. That's it. This is where the fire was. I guess they put it out real quick. Thank God for the firemen. Look at this. I feel bad all their stuff got burned. I feel really bad all their stuff got burned. This sucks, totally sucks. Crazy, y'all. Look at that. That is so fucked up. You don't have anything, and then when you, you, what you do have gets burned. Unbelievable. Thursday, and this is the mess of my kitchen again. And I'm fucking exhausted, so there's no way that shit's getting clean tonight. I'm gonna have to force myself to do it. Usually by Friday, this place is, don't eat that Chewbacca. Usually by Friday, this place is a disaster. And then I have a cleaning party on Friday nights. Look at this shit, this shit, pile of shit's still here. Just fucking burn it. Yep.